I've always been an Agatha Christie fan. She defined what a murder mystery could and should be, what it needed to be, what the rules were. She just started with a nugget, which is this question, why didn't they ask Evans? And it threads through the whole story. There is a beautiful simplicity and, and beautiful unfolding of the plot. And then halfway through you go, oh my God, now I get it. And it's absolutely thrilling. It's, it makes me shiver now. At the heart of it is this relationship of Frankie and Bobby. And I think that is where Hugh's genius has come into play. I was looking for people who could balance the heroic side of the characters with wit and with fun and make an adventure out of it. I think Bobby would happily not go on an adventure to find a murderer. But once Frankie's got her eye on that, there's no deterring her. So they set off on this mad adventure to try and solve a murder. Frankie is one step ahead of Bobby, and Bobby has to work to sort of catch up to her pace throughout the course of the series. And I feel like that's, that's actually been mirrored in real life, where I'm just trying to sort of keep pace with Lucy B on set. We span countless locations. We've got Wales, we go to Berkshire, we go to Hampshire, we go to cliff tops, we go to golf courses. There is the deliberate sacrifice of a car. It's a kind of Trojan horse operation. Lady Frances Derwent has crashed into the gates of Marrowway Court. Knocker will, you know, provide doing the actual stunt of running the car into the wall. And then Frankie swaps out with him. And then George will come along, pretend to be a doctor just came out of nowhere. So that she can be carried in, concussed. It's such a brilliant cast. I found myself in a scene with Emma Thompson and Jim Broadbent, which was one of the maddest experiences of my life. It was such a privilege to be in that scene with them, but you also want to be on the outside of it just watching. The carnival scene was very cinematic and kind of momentous. And it's the point at which the story goes up a gear. The right fairground, and then of course you forget that that involves 60 trucks 500 tonnes of equipment being dragged through muddy fields in the middle of the night. My God, the waltzer. Ooh, well you hear that? Lucky me. The guys who run the ride, they confess that they find walking on it less motion sickness inducing than sitting in the cars. Take six, third setup, and you're still going round and round, and also like this. A couple of them went very, very pale towards the end. It is a really, really wonderful adaptation of Why Didn't They Ask Evans, which I think in particular gets the relationship of Frankie and Bobby just beautifully. Beautiful sets, beautiful locations, and, you know, doing Agatha Christie proud. I just hope that the story, the adventure, the yarn, will be a satisfying one with characters that you like spending time with.